Oh yeah, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, Richie the Barber. What up? And that's legit tattoos on his face, man. Let's do this, Richie. Now, if you saw the video last week, what you don't know that happened was that I set up this light on the coffee table, which tipped over and broke the TV. There was nothing left to do but hit that trampoline one more time and try to really jump into it. Well, camera will sound. <laughs> this guy directed one of the most watched movies of 2020. This guy starred in one of the most watched movies of 2020. <laughs> there were like huge articles written about what a hit that movie was. Action! I don't know how many of you guys have smashed your 4K TVs, but for me it was the first time and I thought it looked very cool. But you know, me being me, I figured I would juggle four pool balls so I'd have a good excuse to throw them at the TV. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> You're like, whoa, that dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Up to this point, Lux was all about it. But once we started throwing the pool balls, she wasn't so psyched because we blatantly chipped the marble beneath the TV. Do the you care about where we live? Honey. No. Like, come on. <laughs> it was an accident. It's not an accident. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a wrap on throwing the pool balls. But Sam Macaroni was determined to keep beating that TV up. And what he beat up was himself. He slammed so unnecessarily hard, and he did the same thing again. I really felt bad for the guy. Ah, that's not true. Dude, you stupid asshole! <laughs> After he ate shit the second time, I figured there was nothing left to do but buy a new TV. So I went with a bigger one. Jack shows up back at the house with that big ass TV in like under an hour. We throw it right on the wall and it looks great. But then I'm like, what are we gonna do with the busted ass old TV? And I remember when I put on my Snapchat, please someone bring a homemade parachute and a TV so that we can throw it off a roof. <laughs> right away I knew we needed to make our own parachute, which Jack did for me with help from our goats. He's currently taking a piss on my tarp. So we went to downtown LA to throw it off a big ass bridge. We just look like tweakers. By no means am I trying to say that Jack sucks dick at building parachutes, but it didn't work so good. Maybe because the parachute caught the edge of the ledge it was on. Plus, Scott Randolph, who set up the tripod angle, managed to point the camera like up at the fucking sky so it fell out of the bottom of the frame. But of course we got the footage. All right, took a ding. <laughs> the actual throwing of the TV was nothing compared to how much of a fucking pain in the ass it was trying to retrieve the TV, which of course we were going to do because we're exceptionally good people. No cap. That shit was a lot of work, man. Is that proper use of the word no cap? I don't know. What, Richie, is that how that works? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it was a disgusting amount of work to get that TV out of there, but I'm a fat ass and needed a workout. <laughs> So after my killer workout, we walked back over to Home Depot where we parked the car and we found this fucking trash removal operation where the guys promised to recycle the TV like exceptionally good people. Right on. Much. All right. And get ready for next week because me and my dad knock out some cum shots and it is awesome. Make sure you follow this guy's Instagram, Richie the Barber. And if you're not following me, fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs>